Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Sue from Xro Technologies. How are you today, Sue? I'm great. How are you, Tracy? Sue, so I have so many questions for you, just starting with the fact that your stock's up 43.92% in April alone from your Clean Seed electric motors deal. I'm dying to ask you about this, but let's start first and foremost with the obvious. Why are you defying gravity during the pandemic, Sue? I think we have been really working smart and hard. So we reallocated all of our travel budgets into keeping our team busy through different marketing campaigns, both commercially facing and investor relations facing. And so we've been doing an enormous amount of Zoom calls, webinars, um, running campaigns off our website and social media. And we feel like it's starting to show the results of that. Well, I, I have to agree with you. I think uh, I've tried to, to, we've tried to do this interview half a dozen times because you're so intensely busy, but also I think Investor Intel members are fascinated with the topic of clean tech. They're using this time to investigate topics that they're not usually familiar with. So why don't you start by giving us really why everybody is looking at you, Sue, right now when they're thinking about clean tech, for instance, and electric motors? Yes, I think I think what we really bring to the table that's really different than anybody else is that we're looking at how we control efficiency through the power electronics, but working with the motor. So we're looking at that complete system optimization. And I think that by doing that, we've really got this huge market that is interested in what we're doing, because it doesn't matter if you're just into green space, you know, greener technology or motors or power electronics, we're kind of covering all three of it. All right, well, let's start with the Clean Seed deal. I like that deal in particular. I found the farm equipment. It's something, you know, I'm always talking about electric cars and Tesla, but farm equipment, wow. Can you imagine what you can do for the planet just in that sector alone? Can you tell us more? I'm interested. Yeah, for sure. We are so excited about that deal. It's a deal we've been working for quite a few months. And well, Clean Seed is like us in that they're a smaller organization. They're industry experts in the agricultural segment. And Graham, their CEO, told me when he first contacted me that he really wanted to electrify the egg industry. And I thought, you know, it's so true, Tracy. Everybody concentrates on vehicles, us included. But agricultural still has 45% of the industry using non-electric methods, non-green methods. So for one, it was really important to us that we played a part in that, being that we're based in Canada and they're Canadian, that we help bring technology from Canada around the world. Um, they're very, very innovative. So we were excited. Um, they've paid into the development, which is, you know, a big step for XRO. But for us, it also brings us into this huge proof of concept. So in December, we did the one with the electric bike, which is small. The clean seat equipment is humongous. It's the equivalent of a large truck. So we're just entering and really showing that scalability for the entire mobility industry. So in addition, of course, to hitting milestones and working on that proof of concept as you were discussing with electric bikes, um, I noticed you've been doing some exciting things that investors like. They love management and you announced uh, a leading engineer from Siemens joining your advisory board. Would you like to comment on this addition? Yes, absolutely. So Josh Sibyl joined as our chief commercial officer just before the end of the new year, and he's been doing an absolutely outstanding job with business development. We have many, many deals in our pipe right now. We're talking to customers large and small, and that's thanks to Josh's effort. Um, Josh is a mechanical engineer. He was a motor design engineer at Peterborough at the same time that I worked at GE. He was in a, the same division as I was. He went on to work for Siemens, and so he was with Siemens as their mining segment leader when I recruited him in November. And of course, just jumping back to the electric bike steel, can you comment and provide us with an update on how that's proceeding? Yeah, it's been going very well. So we've supplied into Motorino. We got a standing results of 25% increase in torque and speed. Unfortunately, COVID has put a, a halt on our feedback from our customer because he is a retail location and he's been shut down. But when BC is up and running or Ontario or any of the locations where he has um, an outfit, then hopefully we'll be able to get some feedback from him on the test results as well. And of course, with what's happening with COVID-19 right now, are you able to talk about what you're anticipating for the next quarter or two for shareholders? Or are you kind of holding back right now? Now we're going full force ahead, Tracy. So um, 
one of the things that we kind of made a decision together as our executive and team and our board was that we were really in a really good position at Extra right now, so we weren't going to let the economy stop us. And so our teams have been working hard. We've got rotations on so that we respect social distancing, but our lab has been going in and finishing testing. Um, from a commercial perspective, there is areas as we cover customers globally. There's areas in Europe where we found it's went a little smaller or deals have slowed down. But we actually have no deals that have been canceled. And in fact, we found a lot of people more available to talk. So the most exciting thing for Extra right now is definitely our deal for Potencia. We are finishing our final testing this month and it will deliver to the customer probably the first week of June, which will give us our first proof of concept in an electric vehicle. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And Sue, can you update us and say six weeks? Because I don't think we can keep up with you unless we, <laughs> we speak with you regularly. I would love to do that. Thank you, Tracy.